Hello there from Alderman Farms. Um, I've had this recipe for many years. It's from my friend Therese Clark. She shared it with me and it is for, it's really mock apple crisp um, because it's zucchini, but it's going to taste like tart apple crisp. And it's something that I've, um, I've brought to many different functions and have fooled many a people because they were eating zucchini and they thought it was apples. And also, um, sometimes when zucchini gets away from you and gets too big, really bigger, it can be twice this size. Uh, that would be fine. It, it really could be, I guess, until it starts getting hard because I've really done gigantic zucchini uh, with this. Of course, you'd cut it in smaller pieces. But anyway, um, Jen, my friend Jen at uh, Jam at the Nut House, uh, had made a post on Facebook and had talked about how um, she had a, a giant zucchini got away, you know. <laughs> and that happens sometimes. And I think somebody else, Tommy, just made a post about uh, they had some zucchini that got away from them. But anyway, so I'm just going to uh, show you this live. I'm going to show you the startup of the uh, zucchini crisp and... Um, we're also filming this to make a video, so we'll have the, the completely finished version of it later, to, later tomorrow, right, Tommy? You're going to finish it up? In theory. <laughs> anyway, all right, here's my zucchini. And Jen is watching, by the way. Yeah, good, good. All right, and the first thing you're going to do, just a minute, Tomas. There's the camera. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're going to peel, and it does get slippery. You're going to peel your zucchini just with a potato peeler. And I've already gotten uh, some done. And you're gonna want eight cups of this. So I actually have already done three and I already have my eight cups. I didn't realize, I didn't think I was gonna get eight cups out of three. So um, I'm just gonna have a little extra. Air conditioner has been repaired, Pia. Thank you. Yes, yes, I have the air. You know what? A while ago, I, uh, you don't have that zoom too far in, Tommy. No. Get that that'll be easier. This is, I need no pictures. Well, Tomas, we're we're making a film right now, darling. It won't fit. Un momento, por favor. Do you make zucchini bread? Pam Walker wants to know. I have made zucchini bread. I like it. Um, I brought it and sold it at the market. It's just kind of expensive to make. It has a lot of uh, ingredients in it. And so um, there's another lady that sells it at the market. So I'm not going to sell any this year. I've got enough to do. But uh, I do want to make some for us. And honestly, when I was seeding those other zucchinis, the seeds weren't that huge in them. This, these bigger zucchinis could be used for zucchini bread, I think, because you grate it up, you know. I'm just trying to get the last little bit of this, you know, the darker green off of there. <laughs> Quake Lake, the Tommy and Patty show. It's, you're not going to hurt my feelings. I know it's the Patty show. Okay, then you got it peeled. Oh, let me, I need to wash it off right quick. Oh, that was it. I was coming to watch you film it. I mean, uh, I was film to film you wa uh, washing it. <laughs> then you're going to cut it in half. Peel picked up the wrong knife. It's not really sharp. All right. And then there's your seeds right there. And you're going to scrape that out, the pulp and the seeds. And that's what makes these zucchini not great to eat because the seeds kind of get big and hard and people don't like to eat them. When they're big uh, like that because they are kind of hard not too bad in this one like I said I've done uh, I've done uh, zucchini that's been much bigger than this so I'm trying to hold it where y'all can doing with two cameras is kind of hard trying to make yeah sure. it's really not showing on the other one good I'll remind me I'll hold it up to it So you're just going to scrape that pulp out like that, make like a little boat kind of thing. 
Yeah, Tomas could have fun with that. <laughs> yeah. Let him know how to get them out. <laughs> Little ears, they listen all the time. See, this would have been rather boring if I'd have done all of them on film, so I went ahead and had the other ones ready. Ooh, Quake Lake said zucchini boats are great filled with scrambled eggs, sausage, and cheese. Ooh, yeah. You could probably fill it up with just about anything. I think I just about hurt my thumb right there with this spoon. I hit it. I, I, I jammed it into my thumb. Okay. And there's the other one. It's done. So let me move this up here. And then, you're just going to take it. Now, if this was really big... I would split it down the middle here and do my cuts. But it's not really big, so I'm just gonna make my cuts like this. But I need my, there it is, here's my knife. Pia, I don't think we have very much uh, experience with papayas. No, but I'm, I think I'm growing some papaya trees now. Are we? Yeah, in the greenhouse. I didn't even know that. Remember, I got the seeds. Remember oh, the yeah. Seeds I got out of the box. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. We got some papaya seeds out of the uh, Go for Green Living's uh, carousel one. box. I make one. Good job, Thomas. Okay. Farmer's Market was a little slow this week, Wonderful Blessed Life. End of the month kind of thing or getting toward the end of the month. First of the month is always better. It's okay. We had goodies to give away. Patty brought some by the uh, the ER. It seems like we see them all the time in there. See, and they they look similar right now to little wedges of apple. And so, but once they cook, it's going to really look like apple. All right. And so, that's two. So I'm actually making a recipe and a half of this because. I already had eight cups in there, and this is another four cups. But anyway, so you have that done, and you're going to take your lemon juice. You take three-fourths cup of lemon juice, and I had another recipe written down where I think I may have used less lemon juice and more water, but I can't remember. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my three-fourths cup of lemon juice on here. And remember, this is tart apple crisp. I'm a little, excuse me, Tommy, I'm going to split by you and get a little bit of water. And while you do that, I'll show him what, what we have to deal with in the kitchen. Yeah, he's waiting for us. Um, and then I Toby. Said, Toby. 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 Oh, Mommy's got something. He's always in the kitchen. I told you not to show that I had on this. Sorry, that's all right. Anyway, um, this is um, three-fourths cup of lemon juice and a half a cup of water. And you're going to put it on there. A fourth? A fourth <laughs> One-fourth cup of water. Well, you said half. So say it again. Three-fourths cup of lemon juice and a fourth of a cup of water goes in there. And you're going to cook these um, until they're tender. And then you're going to drain them really well uh, in a str with a strainer. And then you're going to mix, and you put them in a bowl, and then mix one cup of sugar and one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. And then do whatever you want with them. Make a pie with them. Make an apple crisp with them. Whatever you want. But that's all it is, is that um, it's the lemon juice makes them tart. And then when you strain that out really good um, and add the cinnamon and sugar, a wonderful juice is going to come with it. And we'll show that on the video. And it's going to... Uh, you know, like I said, I've made apple pie with it, uh, tart apple pie. You got to call it tart because people will be surprised. Tart apple pie, tart apple crisp, and I'm telling you, nobody will be the wiser. Nobody will know the difference. So. All right, so is that it? That's it. All right, so it's too. It'll take too long to. It's it's such. It's too slow of a process from here on out. Uh, so we're gonna film it. Let me go ahead. And, I can stop this now, right? Yeah. The other one. And uh, we'll film it yeah. and put together an edited video. So, um, yeah, let me first, see. Yeah, the whole process. Yeah. Everything. Let me go. Let me uh, move right here because you don't need to be filming me. Oh, well, I am filming you, so. 
And yeah, like, keepers at Homestead said we didn't let them get this huge. It was yeah. the rain, literally. Yeah, that's who it's. That's who the oh, elephant said that. Said how did we? How did we? You know, after the rain, it's like how did we miss these? Uh, yeah, yeah. that's true. You don't have to. Um, you know, you can let them get that big on purpose if you want to, but and, then and we have. Yeah. But, you know where I got these from was uh, James Richmond at Richmond Farms at the farmers market. He, I've gotten them from him before. He knows that I make this. I actually brought some to the market last year and let everybody have a taste of it. But um, anyway, uh, so he brought them to me at the market because he knows that I want them. And he said I have one that was even bigger. I said I'll take it too. You know, because I yeah. had three zucchini plants and. Uh, there's been some kind of bore or something uh, that's messed up my uh, plant, my, my, my squash. It didn't do good. So. All right. So thanks for joining us. And Patty's going to get to cooking and we'll set the camera up. Oh, Tomas wanted to say hi. Yes, look who we have. Yay. Yeah. It's been a while since Tomas yeah. has been here. And so he said, I want to say bye. He wanted to say bye. So Tomas said bye. And uh, we thank you guys for jumping on with us. And as always, thank you for your kindness. And let us know if y'all try it. Please let us know. We like and send us your pictures. You know. Whatever. Yeah, we love that. And we find us it. on Facebook. Search for Friends of Alderman Farms, mm -hmm. and join our Facebook group. And uh, if you go there now, you'll see some folks have already posted stuff. In fact, we got pictures of zucchini yeah. posted today in anticipation, which is kind of neat because it really puts the pressure on us to get the yes, videos yes. done. So. Yes. Well, I was planning this. I've just been busy ever since I. Yeah, uh, it's with been about busyness. That, so. Yeah. Busyness squared around here. All right, we're going to go now. Thanks. Bye, y'all.